Uh, firstly, congratulations on the film Mortal Engines. I've already seen it and yeah. I really want to see it again. Okay, and fantastic. Again. Because it's the kind of movie that I wanted to see when I was a kid. The design, the look of it is incredible. And being that I'm speaking to the director, I'm geeking out. Okay, cool. Very much. Okay, great. Um, so this world that you've helped create uh, is just so much fun and unique. Can you talk about what drew you to this film and what ultimately made you say yes to directing it? Um, well, what drew me to the film was Peter Jackson because um, he had originally bought the rights because he was going to direct it. Um, yeah. and, and why I said yes was because, well, you know, obviously because of all the work that I've done has been in basically a path to directing and he asked if I wanted to, to, to direct it. Yeah. And so, you know, I was going to be an idiot to say no. Yeah. Well, I, sometimes yeah. I feel like an idiot to say yes. <laughs> yeah. You know, so, you know, there were times where I felt like an idiot for saying yes, just because, you know, it was so challenging um, yeah. and sort of had to kind of, I had to sort of find stuff that I, you know, didn't realize I had to kind of to, to, to struggle through it. So, yeah, well, speaking of what experience on the other films that you've made um, with all the stuff that you've worked with, Peter, what helps you most on your day to day job as director? Um, what's, what's what would help me the most? Um, I think, well, I mean, various d different capacities. They all, they all give you a, 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 a different um, set of, you know, a different skill set, I guess. So working second unit on The Hobbit, I didn't have the responsibility of being the director because Peter was the director. Yeah. So I could always go to him if I was unclear, but it gave me the experience of working with a huge shooting crew. So working with um, you know lots of lo lots of equipment, lots of lights, big stages, big sets, yeah. lots of extras. So I had like I'd worked with that scope in a fairly safe um, um, capacity. And I sort of used to joke about this, but um, you know I, I, t I told people that, and it was true that then I went and made a low budget short film um, with you know three actors and some animals, and I I had I'd never felt so much stress and pressure on that, mm. I, I felt way more on that than I did on working second unit on The Hobbit because yeah. you were suddenly, you know, all, all questions ended with you. You had, no, you had no backstop, you had no one to go to behind. And so that gave me at least an understanding of, right, that's, that's what, you know, mm. that you, you need to be on top of everything because, you, you know, you, you, the buck stops with you. Mm. And so a combination of that was, you know, combination of both those things was very helpful going into you know directing this but still nothing prepares you nothing can prepare you for this it was jumping in yeah. jumping into the the, the the stormy ocean the biggest deep end ever the biggest jumping deep end. into the fires of mordor yeah, yeah jumping into the fires of mordor <laughs> yeah. but i had you know i had peter and i had fran and i had philippa and the whole crews that had worked with them and me before on on their films um, and so that was all a very big you know a nice big cushion. Yeah, awesome. Um, the cast is one of my favourite parts of the film. Um, right. What was it like working with all them? Um, well, I mean, though, though they're all wonderful. I mean, they're all they're all they're all wonderful, but they're also all wonderful characters that mm -hmm. you know that, that Philip wrote um, and were you know beautifully adapted by Peter, Fran, and Philippa. Um, and look, I mean, I mean, it was it was. I mean, the fun thing about the cast for me is. That they're unique to this film. I mean, you know, and even Hugo, who you know, he 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 transforms in, into Thaddeus Valentine. Yeah. Um, you know, you're not ever sitting there going, "It's Hugo Weaving." You know, he he, he is, um, and that's why he's so so amazing. Um, but everyone else, you know, we wanted to find new faces. You know, we wanted to create a whole new world and new characters, and it can be. You know that can be tough if you if you just you know get the, get the hottest star that everyone's in you know if, you know that, that that Hollywood thinks is the one you should choose because they're going to guarantee a certain amount of box office because you, they're 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 already iconic to another mm. universe and and that can break the spell a bit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, so I've got a quick fire round for you. Yeah. Um, one word answers as short as possible. Yep. They're going to be kind of random. So yep. so just something yep. a little bit more fun for you. Um, is Die Hard a Christmas movie? Yes. Uh, was your wedding ring the basis of the one ring in Lord of the Rings? No. Uh, Superman or Batman? Batman. Uh, who would you be, tractionist or anti-tractionist? Anti-tractionist. Uh, and who would win in a fight, King Kong or London? Oh. Oh. Yes. Oh. Yes. Oh.
I just I just love the idea of King <laughs> Kong trying to destroy the heck out of life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, no, that's that's a, that's that's a good point. That's a that's a that's a great question. Oh, I gotta say Kong. Kong. Yeah. Awesome. Go nice on. work. Anyway, thank you so much. <laughs> hey, my pleasure. Yeah, no worries. That was a fun one. Yeah. Thanks, thanks mate. mate. I was eight years old when my mother died. She loved traveling the world and digging up the past. He used to visit all the time. Now one day, everything changed. She'd found something. Something he wanted. He would have killed me too. Nothing can stand in the face of this. We are London. Hester! Hurry! Get off! Before she died, your mother told me she was afraid of Valentine. And that if anything should happen to her, that was to find you. That you could stop him. She could be a problem if she's anything like a mother. Keep it safe. What happens when you find Hester Shaw? I will kill her. He's here. In the great game of survival, this is checkmate. I knew you wouldn't leave me. Shut up and run. You sure you want to do this? I have to. For my mother. You look at her, and all you see are the jagged edges. But she is something quite different. She is beautiful and strange. And very, very rare.